Thanks if I let that play any longer. Well, that that part just gonna have to be edited out of the uh, of the stream. What up, everybody? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm starting a little later than I wanted to, but I needed to record some um, the live bits for the Judge Mathis that's going live today. So, and then I needed to edit it and all that other stuff. So, uh, it is done. It is done. It is done. Uh, and I am live now. So we'll be playing some more Fallout. Uh, Fallout New Vegas modded. So I did do some off-camera modding between yesterday and today. The mods I went with are um, almost all, if not all, I think it's like one that might not be um, visual. I basically want to load up the mod just a little at a time and then test it and then stream with the mod to see if there's any issues when I'm streaming so the CPU usage doesn't get crazy. Um, so I, uh, I, I'll, I'll go over what I loaded up here. It's, it's pretty much all visual at this point. Um, we kept... Obviously, the Josh Sawyer survival mod on. Um, I added the Nevada Skies Ultimate mod, which uh, adds a bunch of weather effects, including uh, sandstorms, some firestorms, thunderstorms, radiation storms, uh, bluer skies, etc., etc. Um, and then I added, let's see, uh, high res texture packs on robots, ghouls, uh, and a couple others, uh, weapons, heavy weapons. Uh, Securitrons, etc. And then I went for the NMC Texture Pack Large, which was like a three-part mod, which uh, overhauls all the textures pretty much for the entire world to make the game a much more higher res. Uh, and then I added the, the open strip, so there's no more walls during the, the Vegas Strip. It's all just one continuous uh, thing you can walk around. I also added... Um, uh, the four, I think it's called the four, the four gig patch, which basically allows the game to access more RAM so that it doesn't like crash under uh, a ridiculous amount of mods. Uh, I played with it off camera yesterday and, uh, it worked well. The only part, the only parts that seemed to slow down is when I was walking into a city and it needed to load everything and the game would stutter down to like 30 frames, 20 frames a second for like a short period of time, then go back up to 60. I was watching pretty closely to make sure that uh, it was it was playable. Again, obviously, my, my biggest concern is how it's going to run when I stream because I didn't I wasn't paying attention to CPU usage. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Where did I get yesterday? I did basically all of Good Springs. Uh, I did I did pretty much everything on, on, on Good Springs. So I'm hoping it, the game looked really good. I did learn the hard way that the NPCs are not affected by the weather, <laughs> unlike myself. Uh, it was all like I got a. a it was all um, sandstormy, and I couldn't see shit. I'm like, wow, this looks cool. And all of a sudden, I heard gunshots, and I couldn't see where they were coming from, but they were not shooting at me. Nitro Height, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate the support, man. Love you. Enjoy your emotes. If you are a Twitch Prime sub and you want continuous access to the emotes, by the way, you have to remember that uh, Twitch Prime subs do not auto-renew. So if you were subbed and you want access to those emotes, you have to auto-renew the, uh, or you have to manually renew the Twitch Prime sub. That GIF is so good. I'm glad you enjoy it. So uh, let's boot the game up and see if it runs properly. I'm hoping it does. I'm a little concerned, obviously, um, but we'll see. It, the uh, Adding the mods wasn't too bad. I used the Nexus Mod Manager, and it pretty much does everything I need to. The only thing I really needed to pay attention to was the order in which the mods were loaded in order for them to work properly. That's about it. Pargan, 1199, two months in a row, Twitch Prime. No problem, man. A lot of people actually don't remember uh, that that's how it works. I have to get reminded every so often uh, with my Twitch Prime sub, who I'm subscribed to, to renew it, which is a uh, good old Kate. I'll be better than NL at this game. I can also breathe air. It's not surprising. Uh, we're at the abandoned shack. Everything else is like saves from when I was testing the game. The new laboratory feature is also... Uh, takes a long time to set up, so I don't know if it's really noticeable here, but if we go out, you can like you can see the, the gun textures are nicer, but really the way to tell is when we go outside, so hang on, we're going to head out there in a second. I don't know what a steady is, but it doesn't weigh anything. I don't think I really looked around this area too much. I ended off in an abandoned shack out of here, just so you know. I should probably drink, even though there's rads. I really should just drink. So let's just drink up and heal up. Rads, I have to, like, take Rad-X and all that stuff. We'll, we'll fix it, don't worry. I'm mostly going to be paying attention to CPU usage and the like. I'm very, very curious. Even the loading thing is, like, a new wooden thing. 
What's up, aeronautical fidget spinner? So, as you can see, like, it's brighter, textures are nicer. I mean, you can only make the game look so good, it's an, it's, it's fucking, it's an old game. The GPU, actually, the CPU's fine. The GPU's under about a 50% load, which is not that bad. A combat drug made from whatever. Oh, what up, Eric? How's it going, man? Before I came. Yeah, this guy looks non-apocalyptic. But uh, I, I actually really like the way it looks. Everything's pretty high texture. Um, if we can find... Uh, let's head back to Good Springs because I can show you some of the way the uh, the signs look and stuff like that. Yeah, I like the blue sky, too. Uh, that was one of my favorite parts of Fallout 4, is that the sky was was blue. Some rad scorpions. The other things that I was trying to install were, like, super complicated. Um, one of them was, like, high-texture NPCs. At least the mod I was using. They, like, overhauled NPCs completely. But there's, like, you need this, 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 and this. And you need to load it in, in this and this and this. See, there's the little stuttering there. You need to load them in this order and make sure you have this version of this. And I'm like, all right, dog, I'm not... Fuck that shit. I'm not gonna, I don't care enough. But yeah, see when I'm walking into a city, it kind of just does the stuttering thing and it has it's loading pretty much everything. After it's unloading, it's not too bad. There's really not much I can do about it. The only thing I can do really to adjust that is um, maybe not use the high texture pack and uh, use like the medium one, but I'm, I'm a stickler for wanting things to look as good as fucking possible. It's still ten, 10 times less worse than modding Oblivion. Yeah, it stutters when it's loading into a city, but then it's fine. Oh, see, look at that sign, everybody. Look at that high texture ass sign. Wow, very fancy. But I want to see if I can find what's his face, at the Securitron, because he looks different now. Stutter remove mod? There's an actual stutter remove mod? I didn't even realize. No, this is on an HDD. Not an SSD. I feel like that would be way... And it's too late now. I feel like it would be way too complicated to move it all the way over to the SSD and then move all the mods over. Fuck that. There he is. He's looking mighty fancy now. All high texture and shit. Is that dust base gamer mod? I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, that's all. I just did visual stuff. I'm just playing with it. That's about all. Whoa, Victor's hot. So sexy. But outside of the stuttering, if the stuttering, like, gets, like, incredibly bad, I'll just eventually just uninstall and, like, maybe reinstall different mods or whatever, but I don't mod very often, so it's all kind of new-ish to me. I don't know if I missed anything in Good Springs. Oh, you know what I did miss in Good Springs and I need to go back to is his, uh, his safe. I don't think I cracked that open. Uh, mostly just visual stuff, uh, get dusted with the exception. It's all, it's all visual with the exception of... Uh, the open strip, which is when I go to, uh, uh, the, the strip and all the walls are removed, basically. Yeah, all visual stuff. I'm going slow and steady. I don't want to overload everything while I'm also streaming. But there's a ridiculous amount of mods for this game. Which I guess isn't surprising. I didn't, I didn't pop this, right? I need 25. Wait. Why is it stealing? He's gone. I don't understand why that's considered stealing. Uh, let's see. So lock picking. I need to actually maybe pop the book. But I don't know if I have anything that'll bump up my lock picking right now. I do. 
There we go. Yep, I know this game all too well. Wow! I'm glad that required me to do, uh... Christ almighty. He barely had anything. I'm glad that required me to actually have a skill. Thank God. Mods are the only way to make Bethesda games playable. Not necessarily a lie. Uh, armor, wait, what is this? Ammo, ammo piercing, ignores large portion, hollow point, does more damage, overcharge, slug, blah, blah, blah. I just need to dump some shit. Actually, you know what? I can go sell. It's gonna be a slow walk, but instead of like just dropping things, let's just go sell. We're gonna take a nice slow stroll. Look at me, I'm so sexy. Nice, <laughs> a nice walk in Good Springs. What's going on? Open console type set time scale to 9,000. Why don't I trust literally anything that chat says? You feel like you're one of the. I feel like you're one of the Backstreet Boys. Oh hell yeah! I just forgot everything I read right then and there. Does the game uh, look okay for everybody? By the way. I like guess running fine because it's running 100% smoothly on my end, so I just want to make sure everything's good. Can you kill Easy P? Easy P died. Easy P already died. He uh, he ended up dying in the um, everything says look good. He died in the in the prote in the uh, the fight. He did. Rip Easy P. Hey, I want to sell things to you. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, I saved your fucking town. You should, I don't know. Who attacked The me? leader was a new Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him. Probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest. On account of them All being right, enemies with the NCR. Do I have a sexy cowboy dance? God, no. Do I look like I have a sexy cowboy dance? Alright, let's, uh, let's sell some Can shit. Do. Um, the fusion battery I'll probably end up selling. The fission battery. We might as well. Sure, let's get rid of the fission battery. Pack of cigarettes. Sensor module. I know I need the sensor module and stuff like that later. I'm afraid to sell it, basically. And another time, Matt, this could have been a cowboy. I see it. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, no problem. See you later, nerd. Wait, I gotta say goodbye to you. Goodbye. Take it easy. All right. Let's see what we got for quests right now. <coughs> uh, track down the source of the Madre, Hoppy Trails, Caravan Master, the Reunion, drive to the Canyon Wreckage near Prim, and enter the Divide. And then investigate the midnight showing of the Mojave Drive-In. They went that away. Inquire. I don't know which is DLC and which isn't. That's my biggest concern. I don't want to be popping into DLC yet. But we should go into that town over there. That's prim anyway, right? So let's head over there. We should also explore. Sierra, drive in and drive in and divide our DLC. So this is not, not that. Wait, no, wait. Enter the divide. The divide is DLC.
Well, the courier quest obviously is the main quest, so we can we can focus on that. That's fine. And we'll do some exploration along the way. Yeah, they could just put like a mark next to it and be letting me know like what's DLC and what's not. That would be ideal. I might actually like mo not modify, but I might put like cheat and put on Wild Wasteland like through console or something at some point. Oh, it's level locked? Oh, that's good to know. I think, wasn't there some powder gangers over here? I'm a little concerned about that. Gene skydiving. Sweet. Oh. Yeah, there's a powder ganger over there. I need minimum, like, level 33. Well, with the mod I'm using, you get level capped at, uh, 35. So that'll be fun. Ooh, a key. I wonder if that's for the thing behind me. Yep, it was. Oh, dang. Boxing gloves. No. We'll take the pistol so I can repair it. Um, we'll take the leather armor real quick just to see if there's anything. Worth it? But we'll we'll uh, we'll mess with the weapons first. Ooh, banana cleric with the 4.99 sub. Thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes, good sir. Enjoy your emotes. Uh, I might just drop that for now. Yeah, none of that's really really all that worth it. But we got some ammo, which is awesome. I like to quick save a lot. You're not a sir, ma'am, miss. Thank you, regardless. Huh? Oh! Oh! Asshole! Whoa! Okay, alright, alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, hey, hey. I thought he said your mom, but he didn't. He said, come on. All right, goodbye, m'lady. Jesus. Uh, I'm going to take the single shotgun so I can repair mine. Scared the ever-living bejeebles out of me. We'll go ahead and repair it. Hey, what you got? You guys didn't need to attack me, you know? <laughs> you would always subscribe if the GIF was Magical Girl. I should make that one of the GIFs. Magical Girl Mathis Dance. Anything over here? Alright, well, that was fine. Well, I'm gonna go kill this guy. Here, quick save, because we did murder somebody. My day is going good, Beehive. How's yours? There's a very low chance we're gonna be able to sneak up on this guy. We can't sprint. Ever notice how tiny the skydiving plane is? Is it fit for, like, just two peeps? It looks like this guy was part of a fight already. And that's rude. I need to set some favorite weapons here. Hey, man. I'm gonna use this as cover, force you around. Nope, apparently not. Hey, what you got in here? Goodbye. Oh, you were taking out dynamite, you dick! Okay. All 
All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Healing limbs. In order to heal crippled limb, you have three choices. Sleep in a bed, find a doctor, use a stim pack. Well, I just want to use a stim pack to heal myself right now. We're going to switch over to this. Aid, and we're going to use an expired, I think. It's healing powder. Minus one perception. That's unfortunate. Ooh. They're fighting something else. Oh. Hi? I forgot you showed up. I didn't know you killed for me. You need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. Uh, how'd you know I was in trouble? Heck, I can smell trouble a mile away. I'll try to, some trick with that. I knows. <laughs> I like you, friend. Have I mentioned that? Are you following me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. I can take care of myself. Well, sure you can, friend. But everyone needs a hand from time to time. Maybe you return the favor one day. You saying I owe you one? I wouldn't put it exactly like that, friend. All right. Till our trails cross again, partner. Yeah, I know. I know. Um. It won't. Sleeping won't uncripple me. Uh, in hardcore mode, but uh, I mean, um, stim packs won't uncripple me in hardcore mode. I'm hoping sleeping will, but we'll find out. Five NCR dollars. Oh shit! I'll take my expired stim pack back. Technically, it's not mine, but still, it does not. You need a doctor's bag. Got it. Or I'm assuming I can go see a doctor as well. Well, it looks like they jumped a caravan. What happened, lady? Here. Come with me. It's gonna put you to rest. Right over there. Ammo? Energy cells, absolutely. Alright, well, let's actually try sleeping and see what happens. Nope. We didn't even get healed either. Well, I'm glad I came over here regardless. Necrophilia. Listen, I need a cuddle buddy. And there's no body pillows in sight, so... The next best thing. Oh, and here comes the weather change. You can see the, it's a mod. The skybox is getting a little bit weird. They said that can happen, but we're about to get a, a a weather a weather change. Storm of some sort. Actually, I, th I don't know if this is from the the redo. But I like the way this pistol looks. It has that little mark on the back. Oh, shit. I don't really want to deal with four freaking dogs right now. I'm all busted up. I think this is like a sandstorm. What up, JMZ Twitch? What up, dude? Yeah, so this is what happened when I was testing the mod yesterday. And uh, I came across some bad guys that the mod did not affect. And uh, I got my shit kicked in. Plus the uh, the Josh Sawyer survival mod as well. Darude Standstorm it? Hell yeah. Just trying to avoid the um the dogs right now. here. 
Yep, I got the key and I opened the locker with it. Okay, well, I now know somebody's over there, and the thing is they can see me better than I can see them, so... This is a cool effect, though. Yeah, let's do a quick save. There's two. It might be better to try the varmint rifle on them. Or we could go Longview's dynamite. Let's just hurl it his way. Good luck! Oh, that was a good throw. Are you not gonna blow up? Alright. <laughs> is anybody left? <laughs> Not only has anybody left. That worked out fantastically. Powder Gang Camp West. Listen, they the 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 sandstorm effects don't affect them at all. I gotta be very picky with what I take here. Poor guy lost his arm and his leg. I'll take the single shotgun and just repair mine. Water dragon, what up? The fact that ammo has weight makes me really... Sh I should be very careful here about what I take and what I don't. Just curious what this does for me. Nothing? I only activate one of the SP... Oh, this is the mod, I guess. Thermo Hydrograph. It's like, it keeps the mod act active, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, didn't mean to activate it. We might want to actually sleep through this. It's still going. Hunger levels increased. You are now sick with minor starvation. sleep for like nine hours hello there it's good to see a friendly face the I fuck Raider I gave name's Malcolm Malcolm Holmes don't suppose you care to trade missing a few essentials in our oh, service I just ain't approach I'll tell it to you straight I've been following you for good I'm in your face Follow me, you'll live longer. Okay. You're a dangerous sword. I get that. <laughs> What's happening? I have some information I think you'll find useful, which may be following me for this matter. Can you get out of me? I started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star cameras. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know you got your hands on it. This is getting creepy. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything then and there? I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumping folks out here that shoot a man as soon as talked to him. Now they were conversing with him. I'll tell you what I know about those camps. There's an old voice of legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tail goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called sunsets. Malcolm, dog, you're very intimate. What kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. Or maybe was something of value. That's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened boxes of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, the box 
is compared to the shepherds. Some say it's old Festus is, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You'll find caps in the unlikeliest of places. The Blue Star caps are an exception. Uh, you mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus. And he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing in lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. They weren't the blind type, you know. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did say it, I'd tell you the same. Then why even say that? They're so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for this cause. Alright, Malcolm Holmes, hang on a second. I have a feeling you might be lying to me. Find out, shall we? You're a liar, sir. Hey, I don't need those. Weather's letting up, thank God. Thanks for the blue star caps, though, homie. The note reads, not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. Uh, follow the tracks up north, head towards the strip. You in? Ain't chain gang here anymore, but we still gotta stick together. After a nice murder, it's always nice to have a nice, relaxing sit down. Ugh, I murdered some folk today. I can't turn the camera. Oof. So I'm still sick with dehydration sickness. Why don't we just go with dirty water for now? Those are sniper rounds? Oh. I like how he's got forks and spoons and shit. Barter? I mean, that's nice and all, but... I hope he wasn't useful later on. Like, I hope he wasn't going to do something m later because I, I murdered him. He ain't going to be able to do jack shit now. Uh, let's see. Need some death claw action? I am, like, level three. I would prefer not to have any death claw action. That's always been my fear in, in RPGs like this, where if you can kill anybody, like, you kill somebody important. Nah, you're good. He's a jerk. Is that a gecko? I thought I heard, like, a plane. There's a house, and I'm pretty sure I just saw someone running. Is that a house? Yeah, there's somebody running over here. What the hell is going on? Also, it's the geckos running around, but I'm... Huh? Ah! Could you not? God damn. I'm trying to sneak up on somebody here. Why do I stream early? Because it's the easiest, it's the best time for me to stream. Ooh, I leveled up. Shit, okay. Okay. We gotta get lock picking up to 25. Um.
Maybe. I like going even numbers here. No, it's just geckos running around. Yeah, it is EU friendly. True. True, true, true. Alright. Here he comes. He's very excited. Okay. There's a lot of geckos over here, actually. Like, a whole lot. I need to be careful. It's a uh, loppy sleepy doll. Thanks for coming by if I don't see you again. That's rude, first of all. Hang on, I'm reloading! Is there a person up here, or am I just crazy? It's always a trick. It's true. You are like point blank. I should not be missing. Aha! I knew I saw something up here. this place. I actually do remember this place. Turn that music off. Vision battery. This is actually a nice little... That was the Sunset Sarsaparilla one. This is like a nice little, uh... <gasps> Wasteland Survival Guide! Hey! That's from third game what up mr. lister blister that's a hell of a name I love it let it all end everyone is gone am all alone I mean if you like literally look out the window though there's a city unless it's like from a long time ago all right let's uh I just picked up the survival guide. I forget what that does. If it does anything. Oh, survival increased by three. Hell yeah. I do have a doctor's bag, but we're the reason I don't want to use it is because we're coming up on a, on a city, and I feel like I should be saving the doctor's bags for, like, emergencies. Like, I'm out in the wasteland, and I've just got no no chance in hell of getting anywhere remotely soon. So I don't want to waste it. That guide gave me cancer, literally. You ain't wrong. Yeah, I like the cowboy. Oh, I'm, I'm limping. I like the cowboy uh, theme. I think I'm gonna go for. You know, I'm mostly I'm mostly good. I'm like mostly good-hearted, but uh, I'll shoot somebody if I think it's in my best interest. I can't. I might die. <sighs> Mods I'm using are mostly visual, plus the open strip, plus the Josh Sawyer survival mod. Let's go ahead and jump one of those in. I need to just chill for a minute here. I'm like, I'm like neutral, I'm like true neutral slash somewhat neutral good-ish. You know. 
I'll shoot somebody and misses every shot. Yeah, well. That's some. It's one of the downsides of the game is like. It's RPG ish, so. Sometimes you don't you miss even though you're aiming at them. Anything over here other than freaking radiation? You murdered Malcolm. Yeah, but Malcolm lied to me. Don't lie to me. Still hidden. Getting to brim. I love the new signs. I love the signs actually like look good now. Malcolm woke me up and I was in him. I didn't ask to be in him. Please don't. don't. It's not worth it, man. I'm gonna have to make a mod list and like have a command for people to be able to watch to check it. Um, I'm using a bunch of visual mods that add a high high resolution textures, um, plus the Josh Sawyer survival and bug fix mod, plus the open strip mod. The bot is broken again. I thought I fixed him. Nightbot is still dead. Got it. You're running up to me. Okay. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. Dude, I just took out like seven of them by days. myself. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. So you're saying I just can't enter the town? I need a doctor, man. I need a doctor! Yeah, that's true, Aeon. Whatever, I'm just gonna go under here. Oh, uh, you're right. I'll get Nightbot, hang on. I don't know why he keeps disappearing. All right, he should be in chat now. Nightbot should be in chat, but maybe I have to mod him or something. I can't see. What the fuck? I changed my name, so every command is fucking broken. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on, I can edit that. Alright, that command should now be fixed. Let's continue playing video games. Wait, so I need to go in there? But watch out for mines on the bridge. Yeah, I remember the mines. Can't tell if the clouds are moving or not. Yeah, I'm happy I got my name. What's up, man? Got any bottle caps? 
Just saying. Alright, I think I'm allowed in here. I'm saving just in case. Ah! Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Why can't I get to them? I can't reach them. I don't like wasting my ammo, but I will. Sorry about your minds, by the way. It's stupid, but... Walk close and spam E. Yeah, but I'm limping. I don't want to risk it. I don't need to risk getting blown up. Oh, Jesus. Be quicker than be or be dead. I need a doctor! I'm gonna go for your freaking dynamite, because that's the closest thing I can hit. That is that is cowboy. Right there, man. That is straight cowboy. I'm hurt as shit though. Take your varmint rifle. I actually have a revolver. Hang on, can I just pump water into my system? No, I thought I could. Shit. So I need to go to the Vicky and Vance? Please Christ. There's no bad guys in here, I can't remember. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plan. Yeah, no shit. Gone do, do you not see how hurt I am? I want to play some caravan? Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. All right, I'm going to Corey with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, what can you tell me about this job? Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? Wait, some men stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. They passed this way. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chest piece, that kind of stuff. You mean the cowboy robot that also saved the me? Office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Oh yeah, I should just fast travel to the, uh, to Good Springs. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Cowboy robot, you mean the one over there? No, not that one. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. 
Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Cowboy robot, you mean the one over there? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. Let's see. Uh, where can I get information on the men that shot me? A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Alright. Y'all got guns as well in here. It's craziness. Alright. Um, so we can actually do a quick fast travel to Good Springs. can't fast travel from this location? Do I gotta be outside? Let's go. Let's go see Doc. I'm back. What's going on here? What? <laughs> what? Girl, oh, man, you got a... Got quite the, uh, the woody there, if I do say so myself. Is that a bat between your legs? You're just excited to see me. Hey, oh, jokes! Hey, salesman. Weekly, weekly. Hell yeah, Doc. I'm all fucked up, Doc. Doc. Doc, where you at, Doc? You sleeping? You sleeping? Hey, man, we need to talk. How are you holding up? Not good, man. I'm hurt, Doc. I need help. You don't look like. All right, here you go. Wait, I'm not done. I want you to also fix my radiation just to be safe. All right. All right. I'm, I'm a little hungry. How are you holding up? Let's see, uh, can you heal my radiation? Sure. 100 caps, you know what? You can go fuck yourself, Doc. Nothing personnel, Doc. Alright, I'm hungry. Let's go. I ain't got no 100 caps, Doc. Yeah, piece of doctor garbage. Where is the Robo? Is Robo Man here? Or is he gone? He's here. Hey, I heard you hired a bunch of couriers and uh, heard you and I might have a history. You know what I'm saying? Just saying, it's some little rumor I heard. Nothing, nothing special. Hang on, Robo Man. We'll we'll talk. All right, let's talk. Howdy, partner. All right, apparently none of that matters. I didn't put it together. I heard gunshots, though. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put up some favorites real quick. So if I do... And then we can go three, four, um, five, six, seven. Should be good. So now I've got myself some options. I don't have to do it too much.
Yeah, for those who are curious, this isn't a blind playthrough. It has been many years since I've played it, though. Um, and it's my first PC playthrough, technically. Uh, my first modded playthrough. And uh, be wary, because I thoroughly enjoy wandering in games like this. So, like, while I may have a marker for a quest, I will get distracted and I will explore a lot. So if that bothers you, if my aimless wandering bothers the hell out of you, turn back now, all ye who enter here. Because I do a lot of it. Something up here? Looks like there's maybe just somebody... No? Just like a perch? To shoot some fools. Fallout games are made to be just fucking wandered and explored and enjoyed. It's my favorite thing. The little stories that are told in the world itself are my favorite. Love it. A little parkour. A little free running. This is this is the game that makes me wish they would give the fucking engine to Obsidian again and say, hey, you wanna make another you wanna make another Fallout game? Alright, why don't we why don't we fast travel back then? Prim. See you later, Maynard. Appreciate you stopping by, man. I'm now sick with dehydration sickness. What happened to you, man? Mojave Express order. The good thing about not playing this game for a long time is forgetting, like, everything that happens. It's under data? Deliver the package at the north entrance of the Vegas strip sign. Is it the same thing as mine? 250, that was mine. Manifest. So this is the guy that was delivering two oversized dice composed of fuzzy with two fuzzy dice. Got it. Now that bug is still still in the game uh Valhalla I've been dealing with it I'm like why am I sliding and it's just part of the game it's, it's stupid so if I remember correctly there is a fun quest here that I want to do which is like figuring out who should be the sheriff howdy partner welcome to the Vicky Advance Casino and Museum what up who are you Prem Slim at your service Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! <laughs> Who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Give me the story. Yahoo! Don't care. It's basically first. um the Any story of what's the, about Vicky those two Vance criminals. Being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde. No mods their command yet. Day. I gotta work on so that who still. Was who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting. Check cashing fraud and gas pump drive offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. <laughs> Having lived by the gun, 
Well, Mance owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the duel of Desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over Oh, boy! Yard. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <laughs> it gives me the brochure is the best. Uh, tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance oh, Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Thanks. <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheat. And that rickety roller coaster is yeah. liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. Thanks. Happy trail. Wow, look, the case is great. The gun's the gun's missing. The gun. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky. The gun's Vance missing. Casino. Did you know that the Vance's gun is missing? Just mows you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece of that gun. Mint condition. Never fired. Maybe you've been hacked or something. No. The display case is empty. The gun's missing. Have you gone local, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Got it. More science knowledge to be sure, but he might be trying to read a corrupted... The, the gun is still missing. Quite yammering on about <laughs> missing guns, partner. Prim Slim's a busy man. Ain't got time for that sort of bosh. You're plum local. Alright, well... Happy trip. Good enough. I'm gonna have to up my science skill to to fix them. Howdy. I like how everybody here is carrying a gun because they're just petrified. What's up? What's up? I mean, I'm a, I'm a cowboy with a good heart, but I also steal. So, pardon me. What you got? You stopped in to let me know I look really tired. Man, it's like I've been doing YouTube for six years and I've never not heard that before. <sighs> Free war money has no weight. Wait, I am thought I saw... Oh. Do not Wait! Ah, oh, damn it! Hey, sorry. Don't worry about me. That was a mistake. Hey. Ba da ba ba.
Nazi and L would have tried to fight everyone in the casino, die 30 times in the process, come up with a silly song, and then reload from two hours ago. That's just not, not my style, unfortunately. Fixing things. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Don't mind me. So much bad karma. So much bad karma. Rat Dat Boy with that four month resub. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the ongoing support. Oh, girl, I ain't into... It ain't... It's not you. It's me. Just saying. Just gonna eat jalapeno peppers. Just straight jalapeno peppers. Combat knife. Johnson, you got a problem? Hey, youngster. St yeah. Can I do help Prim? I have some questions about Prim. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I heard they were called the Powder Gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Okay. What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. Like next door? First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. All right, I'll give it a shot. What? Uh. Man. Oh. All right, boys. We're gonna go. We're gonna go break out. The guy. Howdy. howdy. Don't howdy me, girl. I'm busy. Bet all your caps on a game of caravan. That sounds like a terrible idea, and I'm into it. All right, here we go. Is there like a secret way up? I can't remember. Oh hell yeah, Darth Sinistrus! Thank you for the subscription. Enjoy your emotes. Appreciate the support. Much love to you. We almost made up all the subs that I lost while I was gone on a trip. Ah, oh, Twitch. We're still get. We're still over. It. We're halfway. I think we got like twenty-five more subs to go before we get our new uh, our new emote slot. That's when Matt the Sexty shows up. I'm just saying. Here we go. I'm a stealthy cowboy. Hey, can we talk? No, I guess not. Anybody's listening, I apologize. I'm gonna take the dynamite, because this is a chance I'm probably gonna end up using it. And we can do some major looting afterward.
Uh, tyranny, not it. Let's see if we can find any nulls in here that we can just uh, clear out. Leather. Wharf. Fair. Yeah, the gun is in the safe. Needs 75 lockpick. Oh, I don't have that. So it's probably an ING word. Let's do healing and then that. Oh, nice. So healing is almost 100% correct. So hearing is probably it. Disengage lock. Assuming it was for this room. Oh shit, girl, what happened? Rad X. And this is all valuable stuff. Lunchbox is useful for making like lunchbox bombs, I think. Damn it. Even the key doesn't open it, huh? I guess it's not really for much. Kind of need the food. Steady. Sure. All right, let's, um, we need water right now, so let's drink some dirty water. Excuse me? Come on. Rude. All right, let's put in uh, an expired stim pack. Lunch oh, lunchbox can do lunchbox meals. Yeah. I'm not here. Gloomal, what up? I'm just gonna sneak around a bit. Ooh, floor safe. But that is super difficult to break into, and there's no computer around. I probably shouldn't be using... Christ, I probably shouldn't be using a goddamn pistol. The varmint rifle's interesting. But I think the single shotty is going to be ideal if we decide to go close quarters here. Star bottle cap. Oh, hey. You know what? Your aim is impeccable, sir. Okay. You don't say his head's crippled. Maybe this isn't the greatest option. Don't mind my, my, me while I jam myself with a dirty ass needle. Oh, hell yes. Whoa, Jesus! Fuck! <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. I turned around, he's just right there. God damn.
You're a varmint! Hang on, I gotta reload. Where are you going? Where the hell are you going, dude? Okay, hang on, hang on, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we're gonna throw some dynamite at you. Good luck. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, God, run, 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 run. Okay. Here, have a go. Oh, Jesus. Ow! Ugh. No. Oh, God. This is a disaster. I'm all fucked up. <laughs> I can't believe that guy ran in there, and then there was just like... Shit, man. <laughs> it came out, dude, with a big ass gun. <sighs> Fuck. Why did my gun fire, by the way? I wasn't pressing anything. Could try the silence pistol, yeah. Only got eight shots is the issue. And accuracy with this thing isn't going to be great. Just hold on, just hold on. Damn. How are you? Wait, I don't understand. Is he just not taking any damage? Yeah, I know he's on the left, but I don't understand how that guy didn't take any damage. That was my shoddy, though. That did, like, the most damage. Well, what we can do is... We can go laser rifle. You don't want to talk to you. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Hey, you may have information on some cons that came through with the guy in the checkered suit. Indeed, I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. You can tell me, or you can rot in here. 
Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. <laughs> yeah, you're trustworthy. You what I know. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. And you won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Let's see what he had. This is most unusual. The powder gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton. I'm assuming this is like if he dies, I can still get the info off someone. of him. I guess I could track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. It would be so very delightful. All right, I'll set you free. Wait, how'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. You're sleeping I in the office? For a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. All right, whatever. Be free. Oh, that's just marvelous. Uh if you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it. <laughs> you lead the way. All right, just come along. Come on. Crouch. You dumb shit. Come on! Uh, oh! All right, well, Deputy Beagle. I'm sorry that had to happen to you. That's unfortunate. It's, uh... It's very unfortunate. You know what? Before we go, though... Alright, man. Have a good one. Adios. me I'm a sneaky sort all right well that went well <laughs> that went uh well my hunger levels I wish there was like a bar I can manage like my hunger levels at here's my stew Good enough. Stat menu, yeah, but I mean like an active one, like right up at my in my face. Hey, um, your man's dead. Hey, youngster. Your deputy died in Bison Steve. Well, I guess you're gonna have to find us a new lawman. I suggest talking to those NCR troopers across the bridge. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex sheriff on lockdown there. Okay. Can I make the robot? What about Prim Slim? Well, I guess I never thought of that. I guess he could be Sheriff. If you think he could be reprogrammed for it. Why not? Bye. Hey, how's it going? Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky. Serve Prim Sheriff's using three fission batteries and two conductors, or I can just do it this way. Um, better HUD mod? I'll have to take a look. Uh... 
Yeah, sure. Do I have that? Ah, oh, shucks. System runtime error. Well, I can just read a book real quick. Happen. Here's my science book. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the. There you go. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah. You did it. Good job. Why, this is the... Tell me about Vicky and Vance again. I just want to see if the... Uh... Oh my god, he talks a lot. I still can't get the hacked again. Happy trails, partner. Ooh. We could bump this up enough and then, like, check if he's been hacked. But, uh... 50 speech is awesome. Lock picking might be really good for us, too. I also should probably put something in guns. Actually, you know what? Let's just put one extra in science. Ooh. Intense training, too. Would We could put more in... Um, an intelligence for leveling up skills, which is always good. But we got some other things we can choose as well. Education, you gain twice the skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize the effectiveness. I mean, that's, that's really, really, really good. We should take this. Twice the skill points? I really, I, I, I honestly God, don't see why I wouldn't take this now. Again, setting a good base is, is the best way to go. Oh, do I have Mentats? Maybe I could pop some Mentats. I don't know if that's going to help me. Howdy, partner. With Welcome the hacking the bit? I almost did. Happy trails, partner. We can try one more. I don't know if it'll actually stack. Howdy, partner. Well no, it doesn't stack. Yep. Happy trails, partner. All right. We did it, everybody. You're all free. Oh, Stalker is fantastic. I've never beaten Stalker. All right, guys. You're welcome. Any science improving gear? Maybe. I don't think so, though. Nah, I don't have much. It's because my weight is uh, pretty heavy. Hey there. I'm gonna explore this place, but I wanna get into a bed here. Oh, Edie, yeah, I forgot you're here. What are you for parts? Three pieces of scrap. I need a repair of 65. Uh, three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Well, there's that. There's that. All right, everything's wearing off now. Uh, I don't have ten in. Not yet. Oh. Hey. I think I have seven. Oh, I can't sleep in your bed, but I can wait, I guess. Hey there. Hey there. Heard it was you brought the law back to Prim, young. I mean, I did it right in front of you. You know, no problem. What's up with the robot? That beat up whole thing. What do you want to know? Uh, what's wrong with it? Do you mind if I try and fix it? Are you welcome to try? It's yours if you can get it working. If I had my way, I'd dump it in the scrap. Yeah. Where'd it come from? A courier dropped it off a couple of months back. I got it working for a little while, but the darn thing. Out of here. I haven't been able to get it up and running again. I was hoping to use it for some courier work, but that ain't gonna happen. 
All right, I think. Don't go. So what I need is three scrap, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. I don't think I have any sensor modules. Um. I have three scrap. I have one sensor, sensor, and I have no scrap electronics. However, I think there's some I can grab back at the shop in Good Springs. I can steal anyway. So we should just swing back there. No. Top floor of the bison? Oh man, I mean, I have to go fight those guys some more and I'd rather not. Scrap electronics. I need a sensor module. And that's it. Take another one just in case. I need to sell all this pre war money. Sorry, didn't mean it. Actually, I need the water. Put a grenade in his pocket, yeah. Just blow him up. There might be a sensor module in the robot man's house. It's possible. Behind the general store. Oh, all the bodies just flopped. We'll see. See if y'all right. You guys have impeccable memories. Like, impressively so. <laughs> Why don't we, what time is it, 10? And we shouldn't sleep because it's gonna make us thirsty and stuff. All right. No, oh, wrong button. Go back to Prim. You have 700 hours clocked. I mean, it makes sense if you played it that often. It's still crazy to me though. All right. Let's go, Eddie. Wakey, wakey, Hi. bud. Looks like the damage service the gyroscope should be replaced with the correct components. Three pieces of scrap metal, blah, blah, blah. Fix it with the parts. Do it. Whoop! Whoa, he's way up there. Companion protocol <laughs> protocol begin. And he's giving you the enhanced sensors perk. I like to make some ammo. Let me access your multi-tools. I want to make something. Tactics interface. I just want him to follow me. Stay close. Uh, let me make some ammo. Oh, that's good. 
All right, I did it. Do I get a like a prize? You got that old robot up and running again? Hell yeah. How's it working out for you? Pretty dang good. I can't complain. That beat up old pile of bolts. What do you want to know? Mm, any idea what I should do with it? Not a bit. I imagine there must be some people around curious about that kind of technology. Where'd it come from? Yeah, courier dropped it off. Wait, don't you? Do you sell anything? Hey there, youngster. Don't call me youngster. All right, let's sell some stuff. Pre-war money should go. How much does he have? He has a good amount of cash on him. Not like it gives me a lot, unfortunately. I don't really have much. And our weight is probably pretty freaking good now because we just dumped a ton of electronics. So, that's acceptable. Let's get out of here. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, if you say so. Late. Whoa. Excuse me while the men tats wear off. Set it, sell Eddie to him. Nothing here. Nothing here. All right. My dehydration level is increased. Isn't there some stuff to explore around here, though? Forgot how poor the piss poor the light is. What up, Sheriff Prim? Howdy, partner. Welcome. We're not in the Vicky and Vance Casino anymore, Prim. I'm sorry. I am sorry. where he lived and did nothing, but we're going to take the grilled mantis. Didn't think anybody was in here, but I had to check. Three purified water plus a dirty water and rat meat. Very easy lock. Lead pipe, silence 22 pistol. Eh. Ammo just... I'm, I'm getting weighed down with ammo at this point, and I don't really want to do that. Oh, Sheriff's office. This is where Prim goes. This is his home now. Except I can just sleep in here, I guess. Because the robot doesn't need to sleep, and I guess that makes sense. This place is a mess, man. Ooh, hello. Ooh, a cowboy repeater. That's actually pretty... That's a gun I don't have yet. It's beat up. It's in such poor condition. Holy crap. But it's got a scope. Hmm. Is there no water running? Yeah, I mean, why am I expecting running water, to be honest, but still. All right, what am I gonna drop? I'm gonna drop the shovel, actually. Screw it. If I need the shovel, I, I just have to remember to come back here. Well, that's not gonna work out too well, I'm sure, but still. You're late. It's all right, man. I should probably just wait. Get some time passing here. Let's get some freaking light. Oh, yeah. I have a freaking... I have a companion now. I should definitely use them. 
Grilled Mantis. I'm still super thirsty and there's still some baddies around. I don't really want to use this gun, though. How much ammo do I have on that? Eh, decent amount. Get him, Eddie! Get him, Eddie! Get him, Eddie! Uh, an anal gun? That 1% chance, let's take a shot. Eddie's, Eddie's got him for me. Whoa! Can he, can the companions die? The cowboy repeater is broken as all hell though. That's my problem with it right now. Or does he just get like, yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't think he could die. Hardcore mode, yes they can. Oh shit. How you looking then, buddy? Alright. Well, companions can die in hardcore mode. I don't expect companions to last long. Last long, unfortunately. You can set them essential. Come on, Eddie, let's go. We're gonna go murder this guy. Goodbye. Well, we should at least explore the second floor. I am so sick of being thirsty all the time. <sighs> Heard somebody moan. Gun cabinet. Oh, hell yes. Uh, we'll take it. We'll use it to repair. Also, we'll go ahead and drink poo water. Take a look at that ransom note for now. This is hardcore mode, man. Poo water. What the fuck? How did you die? What's up, Juzika? I'm doing good. How you doing? Yo, man, where? No, this is hardcore mode. We're not gonna drink from the sink, chat. Even the water fountain is not not good enough. All right.
All right, why are there a lot of dead guys up here? Why are there so many dead people? They died of thirst. They're also on hard hardcore mode. Doctor's bag. That's a very good find. I'll take the sunset sarsaparilla. Nothing in here. Don't want to weigh myself down, but the doctor's bag's a good get. Well, right, did Prim come in here and just wipe them all out? Where'd the hell go? I came in here and you heard them all die. That's the thing. You walked in and they all went, oh. Yeah, they're, they're, everybody's dead. This is all, this is very creepy. I'm gonna down some sunset sarsaparilla real quick. I just want to see if I can get um, any of the bottle caps, I guess. No, guess not. But I got some bottle caps. Some be like the horror. What happened? Sorry, I'm taking your psycho. Here, come on. Oh, you're stuck in the wall. Eh. Does Sunset Sarsaparilla make me dehydrate? I thought the minus 25 meant it helps my dehydration. I might just be stupid. Well, if that's the case, let's, uh... He didn't notice the drone? I know my robot's following me around. Probably take some like rat away or something. I've been stacking up uh, radiation quite a bit. Oh, is that yeah, that must be what happened then, right? Like I got the sheriff, now everybody died except for the two dudes on the freaking roller coaster for some bizarre ass reason. It is kind of creepy to come in here though and be like, yeah, everybody's dead. What the hell? I guess you can kind of like imagine that like while I was sleeping or traveling them and him and the townsfolk came in here and just fucking wrecked everything. Wait, 
Ding. Let's go down. All right, let's make. I'm I'm pretty sure everybody's dead, but just in case. Yeah, everybody's just fucking on the ground. I guess that's like a, a nice reward though for like um, doing this the stealthy way, where you can you know sneak in, go through the back, get him, get yourself a uh, a sheriff of some sort, and then you can come back in, and then everybody's freaking dead. I just don't want to pick up anything that's going to weigh me down. Poor man burned to death, though. Don't fuck with Prim Slim. He just, he just murdered everybody. Straight up. That's cool, though. I'm into it. I know the bandit, the bandit leader. I'll come back for the bandit leader, but uh, you know what? I have Eddie. Let's use him as, as our pack mule. We really should. Let's find the bandit leader and see what he's got on him. And go. Indy, what up, man? How's it going? Convict. Convict. Yeah, it's nice to play a good Fallout game. Modded up a little bit. Haven't done heavy mods, but um, mostly high res, high textures, and uh, the Josh Sawyer survival mod, plus all the uh, bug fixes that come along with it. And then, and then I think I did I uh, did the open strip mod, so the strip isn't like gated oddly. There he is. We should play a good Souls game. Open your inventory. Let's go. All right. Uh, weapons. Let's go. Incinerator. I don't know if I want to give him a... Yeah, let's give him the spike knuckles. I don't really need it. Switchblade. And then with the ammo, flame or fuel, I don't need it. Should also dump like, what if I can repair that? Um, I'll give him my, that clothing. Carry my scrap electronics. Lewd. That's pretty much all there is to do in Prim, isn't it? No, no, there is something else in Prim. Now that the light's out and I can see, I can actually go wandering a little bit. You're a murderous robot, my friend, I approve. I should f pick a place and make it my home base as well. Mill Serp review. Call me math now is that my new nickname uh, I never played the DLC uh, it's funny cuz like the uh, the reason the reason I didn't play the DLC is because at, at some point uh, Bandai Namco revoked access to the press copy of Dark Souls from me and a bunch of other people and um, I never reached out and said what's going on I just never asked for it back so I don't have the game anymore they took they took the press copy back for some bizarre ass reason what up masonry Math sucks. 
Yeah, they did it to me, they did it to Northern Lion and Nick, but they reached out and were like, hey, what's going on? I never reached out. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I heard Ringed City was fucking awesome. Wow, flip off. What's two plus two? 69. Is that joke still relevant here? I would like to play it. I think I'll end up, if I do play it, it'll likely be streamed. Streaming has been really fun for me. It's allowed me to play games that I haven't been able to play in a long ass time. I feel like all equations lead to 69 in my world. You ain't wrong. Got business here? Yeah, suck my dick. I never came over here and talked to the people. Whoops. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Gun game mod for Dark Souls? That sounds fun. I don't, what does that do? Have a good one, Get Dusted. Thanks I'm for coming by, as always. But it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay. Sir. Don't call me sir. Guys shouldn't just let me in your tents. Hello. I'm some rando dude. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Oh, that's cool. That sounds like a really cool mod. We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Oh, it's like gun game from like, um, oh, that makes sense. It's like gun game from, uh, what do you call it? Oh, shit. Like most other first person shooters. They, they, they did that in uh, Call of Duty, I think. It, I know, I know what you're talking about. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here. Maybe some guns. Yeah, CSGO does it too. Right, right. Shit. Things are just going slow. Okay. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any info on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. All right, well, thanks. All right, well, that's it for me, I guess. Sir. You don't need to be here, by the way. There's a robot protecting things. We won't go quietly. All right, I didn't fucking ask. I don't give a shit. Oh, four missiles. I bet you that's super rare, but how much do they weigh? Six each. Yeah, see, not happening. It's a bit on the much side. Hey, man. You don't look so good. You all right? Everything good? That was weight total, not individual. Oh, well, still six pounds is a lot right now. Give him to Edie. God, fuck, I forgot I had you, Edie.
He's got a case with the sarsaparillas. He certainly does. See how he's staring off? That guy, I think, was walking into that for a minute. Seven Days to Die? I did play it on my channel a while ago. Probably should have made sure I was hidden, but, you know, it's all good. Here, open your inventory. Did you like that? Take the pilot light too, Edie. Just don't die on me, man. There's too many other games coming out right now for me to jump to Seven Days to Die. Long Dark is coming to story mode and 1.0 is launching soon. I'm very excited for that. Uh, Darkwood is, is coming out of early access to 1.0 next month as well. It's some, some really good survival games that I've been following for years are officially launching, so I'm, I'm excited for that. And I should wander before we do the next, like, story bit. I should do some wandering. Some exploration. It still doesn't look great, but oh man. The game looks so much better modded. <laughs> Mathis is starting a vampire RPG session where Mathis is going to be the storyteller. And the cast will be announced next week. I need to find an artist, however, <laughs> to do the overlay for it. I'm still looking for an artist. My normal artist has no internet right now, and he's bogged down with a bunch of other stuff. You'll pay for what you did to the powder gangers. Who are you talking to? Because I'm not in front of you. Okay, well. Good shooting. Good shooting. Good shooting. All right, well, good shooting. I forgot that he does that when he fights. Stone Panda, thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Please don't die. What is happening? There's more? Oh, he's right here. Nope, oh, he's dead. Never mind. That was an artistic camera shot. Uh, it will be Requiem. Not Masquerade. Though I know Masquerade is heavily considered the best. Uh, I only know the newer World of Darkness rules. So. Uh, that's what we're going to be playing with. Well, thank you, Stone Panda. I'm glad you're enjoying the, uh, the Twitch channel. Or the uh, YouTube channel. You now have radiation points. Visiting the doctor, take right away. Yeah, I have some. I'll, I have right away. I'll do that. Just gotta drink up. Go get NL. You mean Boone? Requiem, I feel, is more RP focused. Yeah, probably. It's also good for me to for that. I'm not a big rules guy. Like I, I don't. I think rules are fine. I like rules. Rules are great, obviously. But for me, my play style and my DM style is more story focused. I've got a really, I hope, a really fun story. That'll be really in, uh, exciting for people to go through, so. Nothing fantastic. Edie, thank you for playing that combat music, by the way. I appreciate it. You'll pay for what you've done to the powder gangers. There's a couple bad guys over there. You think Project Zomboid will ever go anywhere? I mean, I do. I think it will. Uh, they they just, like last month, introduced cars, like vehicles, into the playable game. Um, and it, they look great. But I think I will not play Project Zomboid until we see either NPCs or the run-up to 1.0. Excuse me? Convicts. God damn it. Well, this is going to be fun. Let's see if we can get up real close.
When you get a lucky shot, you get a lucky shot, you know? The mods I'm using do not change main story progression. Negative. The werewolf game is going to be pretty uh, story focused from my understanding. And it's at focus at home interactive. Uh, that's a bad thing, but they're like the kings of double A games, so keep that in mind. Okay. Edie. Edie, be careful, baby boy. Need that cowboy repeater. So I can repair it. I'm afraid to go inside right yet. Kinda wanna clear the area out if possible. I don't think that's as un unpopular as you think, uh, Hell Swarm. Fam, uh, Fallout 4, we've had this, we actually were having this conversation quite a bit. It's not a very good Fallout game. It's a couple bark scorpions. Alright, let's head inside here. I'm all fucked up, unfortunately. Right, that's exactly what we were saying before. Fallout 4 is a great open world shooter, but it is a garbage Fallout game and a garbage RPG. Fuck you too, door. Oh! Oh. You like that? No, stop shooting Edie. Thank you for tanking, Edie. I don't know why I call him Edie, it's Eddie. I hear bugs. So before we do that, mantises looks like. I really should put on better armor. I should loot some armor and like wear that instead of what I'm wearing now. Yeah, about three years. I'm gonna take some rat away here in a minute. Relax, Eddie. All right, you do that, it's fine. Can I just step on you? Door's locked. Yes, you can just step on them. This <laughs> is the answer. Alright, let's actually pop some rat away here. <laughs> yeah, you need that camera angle for that? Thanks, appreciate it. Dead Prospector. Money. Five of Clubs Gamora. I don't know if that's worth much. Caravan Shotgun is absolutely worth taking, I think. Let's go for some better armor. 
So I have a Merc Grunt outfit actually already on. So we can click that and repair it with this one. We can wear that and repair it with that one. Plus one perception. And we can drop that one then. So the caravan shoddy now. Can you fix limbs with Hydron Hardcore? I don't think so. Um, what do I want to get rid of here? I'll give him the laser pistol since I have the plasma pistol. Why don't we only hang on to like three of these for right now? Well, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. I should use one of my 9mm and repair the other one. Okay, we're looking good now. Oop! Is that what I think it is? I like the idiot who was like, if I did, if I did have any, I wouldn't tell you. That's when you just say I don't have any, my dude. That's why I put a bullet in you. My child is an honor student at Roosevelt Academy. Let's go ahead and heal up all the way. Project Zomboid. As we were just talking about. Alright. Back out into the wasteland. Ooh. Nice little sunset. Some cool sand drifting across the plains. I think we've got ourselves um, some bark scorpions coming up ahead. Oh, the weather's changing. Yes, I know I'm crippled. Thank you. Giant ants, which I don't want to mess with too much. Am I going to play Dream Daddy? Maybe. Oh, shit. X come quat with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Indy is my Dream Daddy. Appreciate the support. Enjoy your emotes. We're coming up to a lot of baddies. Eddie is a badass. You're not wrong. I don't need to do anything. Eddie's just kind of doing it for me. Poison gland. One for a value of 25. Absolutely worth it. I'm not far into the game at all. I can't see anything, man. I just can't. I just don't want to overcumber myself. That's hard to say no to. A little bit of money. Oh, Persona 5 is awesome if you like JRPGs. I can't see. Thank God Eddie's here. I can't see anything, man. Eh. Where's new Kanan anyway? I don't know, man. I don't know. Sunset Sansparilla. Come on, Eddie. We gotta get inside. It's too dark. Is 
there like a bed in here or something? No. Well, we could wait away in here. A multiplayer Fallout? That'd be fun. Playing games with Indie Mouse? That doesn't sound fun. He's playing a gun -slinging, slinging kleptomaniac, which is basically everybody in every Fallout game ever. Just making sure there's no bottle caps up there. Some dirty water is not a bad get. Take Mayor Stein's journal. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Alright, you need to take some, uh, I'm going to give you the Magnum Revolver and all the revolver rounds that go along with it. Because I'm not using it. Sorry, Indy. I'm sorry. Ransom note. If you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small on Mark Bills to the Bison. Steve. I can hardly believe my luck, literally. I'm a gape. Just now I was approached by a rather intense young man calling himself Mr. Fox. Yeah, right. Uh, when we were alone in my office, he let it known that he is a member of Caesar's Legion. He knew that NCR troops and powder gangers often spend time in Nipton. It turns out that the Legion hates and wishes to make an example of both groups. The NCR for obvious reasons and powder gangers for harassing, harassing Legion raiding parties on this side of the river. I'm going to have to think a moment about Mr. Fox's proposition before accepting it. All I have to do is convince the powders to kidnap the NCR troops at night. When both groups are in town, the Legion boys will scoop up every, scoop everyone up. For the simple task, I have been offered 8,000 caps. I can almost go back to the NCR, NCR right away, but who knows how much I might make off this Legion lackey. I'm going to start stockpiling up some supplies in the safe house uh, between here and the Mojave outpost, just in case I decide to head back home in a hurry. Very exciting! Signed with a steady hand on the, key, on the, on the keyboard. Uh, Super Mayor Joseph B. Stein, Third Esquire. Why, how how nice of him. The most notable mod. A BB gun. Um, it has to be the it's probably the Josh Sawyer survival mod that I'm running. Food is good. And I'm over encumbered again. But I should probably eat something anyway. I wonder if you can run through the game with only a BB gun. That would be impressive to say the least. I thought I'd drop the rat meat. Alright, you know what? I actually have to wrap the stream up.